today the topic of discussion is in singly circular linked list you will understand delete and that is you have to delete a note at the end of the linked list of singly circular linked list prior to this what we have understood we have understood how to create singly circular linked list we have understood how to print element of singly circular linked list we have understood how to insert node in singly circular linked list and we have studied three part that is insert a node at beginning insert a node at middle insert a node at end and then we have discussed delete and in delete we have already studied two part delete beginning and delete mid we have already now our third part is delete end that is you have to delete the node which is last node finally so finally you will have a delete a menu that is a menu where by pressing one you can delete beginning by pressing two you can delete mid by pressing three you can delete end but my job is to delete node end so i'll press three so this ch will have three switch will have three i'll jump to case three and in case three i'm calling d end that is delete end function and prior to this you can see the linked list you have a linked list now your job is to delete this node the moment you will delete this node what changes will take place this node will become tail fine and now this five instead of 500 what will come the node of address of head node what is the address of head node 100 so 100 will come so this pointer will go from here to here and this will get deleted fine so this is what the changes will take place so let's understand the coding so finally we are we have called dn function and where i have created a pointer tam i have created a pointer ptr and i have initialized this with head and this the data type of this pointer is node 1 what is node 1 i have already explained you that node 1 is a variable of a structure what is structure i have created a structure of na having name node there is two part one data one address address is of type struct node and i have created a variable node one so structure variable is node one and i have type defined it so by type defining it i can use this node one as a representative of entire structure that is instead of writing struct node i can use only node one suppose if you have not used type def then everywhere where you are using node one you have to write struct node so in order to simplify the code you have used what type def fine so hope you have understood so finally you have a linked list you have a linked list you can see that and what is actually taking place when you will delete this node tail will come here this is what arrow is representing but let's understand with the coding now the coding is see the coding while uh, ptr uh, I have initialized this PTR with head. What is there in head? 100. So PTR will come here to the head part. Fine. Now I will uh, no, uh, see this loop. While PTR next. What is PTR next? 200. Is not equal to tail. What is tail? 500. Yes, PTR next is 200 and tail is 500. It's not equal. Condition become true. I'll update PTR. PTR will have PTR next. So what is PTR next? 200. So PTR will come from this place to this place. Fine. Will I come out of the loop? No, I'll again go and check the loop. Is PTR next? What is PTR next? Now 300. Is not equal to tail? Tail is 500. Yes, 300 is not equal to 500. Condition become true. I'll update PTR. PTR will have PTR next. So what is PTR next? 300. So PTR will move from this place to 300. Fine. I'll again check. Is PTR next? What is PTR next? 400 is not equal to tail what is tail 500 yes 400 is not equal to 500 condition become true i'll update ptr ptr will go to ptr next so ptr next is 400 ptl move will come here fine i'll again check is ptr next what is ptr next 500 is not equal to tail yes it is equal to ptr next is 500 is not not equal to tail no it's equal to condition become false the moment condition become false i'll come out of the loop so this is the out of the loop i'll come out of the loop i'll check if ptr next this is ptr next equal to tail yes ptr next is 500 and tail is 500 yes condition now if condition become true the moment if condition become true i'll move inside the if block fine and what i'll do what i'll do i'll ask temp to have ptr next temp will have ptr next what is ptr next what is ptr sorry ptr was here what is ptr next 500 so i'll update temp with 500 so temp will come to the 500 node so temp temp will come here temp and tail both are representing 500 node fine okay i'll ask ptr next to have head ptr next ptr next is this 500 i'll ask not to keep 500 keep head what is head 100 so the moment i'll write 100 over here the moment uh, let me make it the moment i'll write 100 over here so this pointer will come from here to here fine so this will break this pointer will now start pointing this 100 
fine so this has happened now i'll ask tail to come back side tail will have ptr what is ptr 400 so tail will come at 400 so tail will come at 400 tail uh let me make it very clear uh tail tail will come here fine at 400 so tail will move from this place to this place now the last node which is to be deleted having name tem so what i'll do is that what i'll do i'll i'll simply write element deleted is person d and in person d i'll print tem data what is tem the last node and tem data is 8 so answer will come element deleted is 8 and i'll feel very good yes 8 was my last node and it's, it's deleting yes my code is working fine and what after that the moment you delete it you have to you know remove it from memory also so you will use dynamic memory allocation free for watch temp so the moment you use free temp this particular part will get deleted you know get vanish from the memory and finally you will have you will have this structure where eight is no more fine so finally this was the coding of delete at the end of singly circular linked list and which was very easy coding